He just couldn't face anybody. He couldn't face clearing up the message, mate. He was really upset on the phone. I've never heard him like that. Oh, that's all right then. I forgive him for jilting me. If George is upset, that's fine by me. Where have you been? Out. Got anything to eat? Where? It's my business. Have you seen the time? Oh, give over, Mum. I'm 18. I can please myself what time I come in. Teresa, we had an arrangement. If you was going to be late at midnight, you was going to let me know. Well, I forgot. I'll better go. Right. I'll see you tomorrow, probably. Yeah. What's she want? See if she can move in, now she's done, eh? Cut out comments like that for a start, young lady. Why? Well, we can be related to, aren't we? I hope you don't want me to call her sis. For your information, Gianni is 100% your father's son. He has absolutely nothing to do with George. Big deal. You're still going to marry him, aren't you? Actually, I've had it off. What? It's off. I'm not going to marry George. Well, why not? He's gone to New Zealand. No, he left today. Didn't even say goodbye. Well, aren't you going to say anything? Well, what do you expect? It just serves you right. Don't you speak to me like that? Well, you asked me, so I'm telling you, everyone else knew but you. You wouldn't dare talk to me like that if your father was still alive. For all I know, he may still be alive. How many others do you have besides George? Oh, Teresa, that, 